Jon Stewart has a history of outwitting his debate opponents, going all the way back to 2004 when he shamed Tucker Carlson into permanently retiring his signature bow tie look. How old are you? 35. And you wear a bow tie. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. So, I do. so I'm not suggesting that you're, I, not, you're not a smart guy because those are not easy to tie. So let's talk about why he's so good at what he does by looking at a recent interview he gave with Oklahoma State Senator Nathan Dom. And here are the five strategies that Jon Stewart uses to win arguments. First, he uses humor. Humor can disarm your opponents and undermine their arguments. The obesity crisis in America mm -hmm. costs six times the number of lives as guns. Right, and, and so you're the guy saying, you know what would help this? Ice cream. <laughs> he uses sarcasm and clever comebacks to highlight the absurdity in his opponent's claims. Second, he comes heavily prepared. He has facts and statistics to support his claims. He knows his stuff and he's got the receipts to prove it. Our guns makes us more safe. Yes. We got 400 million guns in the country. We had an increase and gun deaths went up. Third, he uses analogies to make complex ideas more accessible. He compares political issues to everyday situations that people can relate to. This makes his arguments more compelling and persuasive. Upon due so process, you're saying upon other things. that registering is an infringement? Yes. Is voting a right? It's a right for citizens, yes. Do you have to do anything to do it? Yes. What do you have to do? It depends on the... The fourth thing Jon Stewart does is he points out the flaws and fallacies and inconsistencies in his opponent's arguments. So What's the children? leading cause of death amongst children in this country? And I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not drag show readings to children. Correct, yes. So what is it? I'm presuming you're gonna say it's firearms. No, I'm not gonna say it like it's an opinion. That's what it is. Lastly, let's talk about emotion. He shows his pain and passion on behalf of those that are affected by an issue. You don't mind infringing free speech to protect children from this amorphous thing that you think of. But when it comes to children that have died, you don't give a flying f Forgive me, but I have to offer one more bonus strategy, and that is that he appeals to people's sense of shame. He shames politicians and those who should know better to act and be better. Like when he spoke out in support of a bill that would provide funding to care for veterans who were exposed to toxic burn pits. Because these people will not give up, they will not give in, and they will not relent. This is an embarrassment to the Senate, to the country, to the founders, and all that they profess to hold dear. And if this is America first, then America is For crying out loud, he also, of course, loves to curse for emphasis. In the end, Jon Stewart is an exceptional communicator, but what do you think? Is he a master debater or just another partisan political pundit? Let me know your thoughts. Speak well and be well. I, 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 I hate so, you at all. I, I, mean, I do think you're more fun on your show, uh, just my opinion. But can't, okay, can't just, Jack, John Stewart goes one-on-one you know one with his no? fans. You're as big a dick on your show as you are on any show. <laughs> Now you're getting into it, I like that.